Hello, today I have an easy yet super flavorful way to get more fish into your day. I'm making salmon kebabs with creamy tzatziki sauce, a great recipe for grilling outside or sauteing inside. Now, you may already know this, but the American Heart Association recommends eating at least two, three and a half ounce servings, or three quarters of a cup, of baked, grilled, or broiled fish each week, especially oily fish. And guess what? Salmon is considered an oily fish, and oily fish are rich in omega-3s. Omega-3s are healthier fats that help protect our hearts, reduce our risk for stroke, and are important for brain, nerve, and eye health. Okay, enough talking, let's start cooking. I'm going to make marinade for the salmon. I'm going to whisk together two teaspoons of olive oil, half a teaspoon of fresh oregano, or you could use a quarter teaspoon of dried oregano, half a teaspoon of minced garlic, which is about one small garlic clove, one teaspoon of fresh lemon juice, and a quarter teaspoon of lemon zest, which you can get from half a lemon. I usually zest my lemon before juicing it. It's much easier that way. So here's my salmon. I have one pound that I've cut into one by one inch pieces and I'll add that into the marinade. I'm gonna let it marinate for just 10 minutes. Now, when fish is marinating, you never wanna let it sit for more than 30 minutes, especially if you have acid in your marinade like lemon, orange, or lime juice because it breaks down the protein structure of the fish. This is called denaturation. It also happens in meat and chicken, but those are tougher pieces of food, so they can sit in marinades for longer periods of time. You can also make chicken kebabs using this recipe by substituting the salmon with one pound of boneless, skinless chicken breast, visible fat removed, and cut into one by one inch pieces. So while the salmon marinates, I'm going to make our tzatziki sauce. Now tzatziki sauce is a Greek dish that is made up of yogurt, cucumbers, garlic, and other spices, and it's served as an appetizer dip or sauce. It's wonderful when paired with meat, or in this case, salmon, which is a meatier fish. So I'm going to stir together one cup of non-fat, plain Greek yogurt. Three quarters of a teaspoon of fresh lemon juice. You can use the other half of that lemon. One quarter a teaspoon of lemon zest. Again, you can easily get that from the other lemon half. One teaspoon chopped fresh dill. Oh gosh, that smells so good. You could use a quarter teaspoon of dried dill if you don't have fresh dill. Also, I'm adding one teaspoon of fresh oregano or you could use half a teaspoon of dried oregano. Dill and oregano are two classic spices used in Greek cooking. Now I'm gonna add one third of a cup of diced cucumber. I peeled the cucumber and scooped out the seeds with a spoon before cutting it up. One quarter of a teaspoon of honey. and one quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Now I'm gonna mix that all up and store it in the fridge until I'm ready to serve it on top of the kebabs. Now I'll prep the vegetables for the kebabs. I have one small red bell pepper that I've cut into one inch square pieces. You could use any color you like. I also have one small red onion also cut into one inch squares. Again, use whatever type of onion you have on hand. And I also have two cups of white mushrooms cut in half. I like white or button mushrooms for kebabs, but sometimes I use crimini mushrooms, which are baby portabellas. Okay, so I'm dumping all the veggies into this large bowl and I'm adding two teaspoons of olive oil. And then I'm gonna to toss everything together, making sure the vegetables are coated. Now, I'm gonna check on my salmon. 
So my salmon is done marinating and I have it out here, out of the marinade, and I've discarded the marinade as it contained raw fish juice and we don't want to reuse that. Okay, so it's time to assemble our kebabs. This is a great job for the kids. So I'm going to just start by alternating vegetables between three pieces of salmon per skewer. Okay, so I'm putting them on this plate as I make them, and then I'm going to cook them in my saute pan. You could use also a grill pan or even cook these on your outside grill. But if you do, you better be sure to soak the wooden skewers in cold water for about 30 minutes prior to grilling to make sure they don't burn. Okay, so my kebabs are ready for the heat, and I have my saute pan over medium heat. So I'll just put half of the skewers in, as they won't all fit in my pan. So I'm going to cook them in batches. And now I'm going to cover this loosely with aluminum foil to mimic an outdoor grill. Then I'll just cook these two to three minutes per side. My kebabs are done and they look and smell amazing. To serve them, I put a few on a plate and you can dollop some of the yummy tzatziki sauce over each kebab or you can put it on the side. I like to serve these with brown rice or whole wheat couscous. So that's all there is to these salmon kebabs with creamy tzatziki sauce, a delicious way to get more veggies and fish into your family's eating routine. Thanks for watching.